Hey guys, what's up? I hope everybody's doing well. Happy New Year. I wanted to do something fun. I don't know, you know, do something other than tarot. Um, I'm gonna make some Florida water with you guys, okay? And this is a new recipe, so we're gonna see, okay? But of course, you should always start out with cleansing and blessing your container, which I did prior to this video, but I just wanna show you, okay? how you should do this guys and thank you for everybody who likes comment share subscribes does your thing on this channel you guys are appreciated i'm looking forward to an awesome 2020 so okay i know y'all are too all right so i like to wipe the energy off of products this has all been really white clean and i've used these before and stuff but i like to wipe the energy um because you don't know you don't know, maybe that person was having a bad day when they packaged this up or something, and now their energy is all over your stuff and you're trying to do magic with it or heal or cleanse with it, and yeah, so make sure you wipe everything clean, guys, okay? Um, I like to put ash, um, Palo Santo ash in a lot of things that I do, and I also like to use just a pinch of my own black salt that I make, special recipe, okay? So I'm gonna make just a little bit. I have um, rainwater that I collected, okay? It's been blessed, charged, sat out under the moon, sat out during the eclipse. Um, this is good stuff, and we're just gonna be using just a little bit, okay? Just a little bit, you don't need much. But it is true flow to water, okay? Because I am in Florida. <laughs> so. I'm using, um, you can use alcohol, you can use um, vodka or some kind of like spirit, you know, liquor. I'm using witch hazel. And like I said, I'm not going to really make that much. Why I use witch hazel is because it has witch in the name, <laughs> which I like, you know. And then also, um, it doesn't really have that, it doesn't really have a smell like alcohol does. And since I'm not doing like fresh with this batch, um, I really don't need the overpowering smell of the alcohol, okay? Because when I mix this up already, I'm like, it doesn't really smell like anything. There's an astringent type of smell, but it's not overpowering like I find the alcohol to be, okay? So for Florida water, Florida water is traditionally a very um, citrusy floral type of uh, scent. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I put nine of lemon essential oil in because, like I said, it's supposed to be citrusy. I always put frankincense in for protection. Lemon is definitely for focus, new beginnings, joy, confidence. Frankincense is obviously protection, spiritual cleansing. Just a couple drops. You know, you can tweak it here and there, do it how you want it, but I, I don't like to do too much of these overpowering ones. This is lavender cedar wood. Mm. And again, just a little bit. Okay. And then, um, you know, this is jasmine and I haven't really ever used this in anything, but mm, it smells so good. And it smells like Florida to me. When I go out and go for walks and stuff, I always smell that smell. Then of course, rose, which is traditional in Florida water three you know like I said not too much because these things are kind of overpowering and then um, you could use sage I use Palo Santo ash I have sage essential oils but you have you can use really whatever mixture you want to and um, yeah pretty much guys so you just mix it up okay it's pretty good right that's why I like essential oils because um, when you do fresh, it is gonna have like a brown, muddy type of look or things like that, it depends. If you, the more dry herbs that you use in your Florida water, um, when you do it with you know herbs and like live stuff, it's gonna be the browner, okay? So if you use fresh stuff, you're gonna get a less brown Florida water, but you're still not gonna get like this clear, you know what I mean? Essential oils is how you gotta go. Now this is of course not done. You're gonna obviously need to charge it with your crystals. You can even put your crystals in it if you want to. Um, set it out under, I would recommend at least one lunar cycle, guys, okay? But if you're in a rush, just, you know, you can power charge it under the new moon or the full moon, okay? But I would like just to do like one lunar cycle, okay? Let's smell it. 
Oh my God, it smells so good. It smells so good. But I want a little bit more lemon. See, that's why you, you, it's your recipe. So you tweak it. And every day you would like to like, you know, place your hands on it and set intent into it. And what it's going to do, what it's going to be, how much it's going to cleanse, you know, it, you know, pray over it, do everything like that. Really put your intent into this. Oh, I love it. Oh my God, it smells so good. And the jasmine actually is kind of nice. Like it does, it, it smells like being outside here in Florida when all the flowers are blooming and maybe you have a lemonade. Oh man, I love it. Okay guys, so I like it. I like the color, I like the consistency. And there are little like flakes or whatever, but that's because I put my black salt in there, but you can't really tell. It looks really good. And so, um, this will, like I said, get charged, prayed over, and sat out over a full lunar cycle, okay? You can definitely do a bigger batch than this. This was just kind of an experiment, guys, okay? So just to see what was going on with it. It smells so good. It smells citrusy, florally, a little bit of sage in there, some cedar. It smells really good, guys. I really like it. But anyways... That was it. Okay, guys, you can even bury this stuff if you want to because the witch hazel or alcohol or whatever you use is going to keep it from bacteria growing. So you can even bury this in the ground if uh, for my earth witches that like to do that kind of stuff. All right, but yeah, it's a very versatile recipe and you can, uh, you can add, you can take away. This probably is not finished, but um, yeah. I hope that was informational. I hope it helped. I hope it did something. See you in the next one. Bye.